What's up, everybody? We're back taking a look at Boston again. There was one more thing I wanted to cover, which is super interesting. And I think it, it shows how everything is connected in this puzzle. All parts of the book, all the verses, all the images, everything works together. It's one big puzzle. It's not 12 individual puzzles. I kind of went into this a little bit when I was looking at the Cleveland verse uh, and connecting Birch to the Milwaukee verse. And so this is kind of the second example of that. And we're going to be looking at Boston, but we're going to get there via the Montreal verse, verse 5. And in this, there is an acrostic here, Abbott. And at some point, somebody had posted about Abbott Hall. Maybe that was the reference there. And so Abbott Hall is in Massachusetts. And if you take a look at where it's at, it is north of Boston, about 15 miles. And so when I initially looked at this, I didn't think much of it. But as I started to um, kind of map things, which I had showed a little bit in my last video on Boston, one of the things that, that kind of hit me when I revisited this location was the direction it's facing. Like it's facing towards Boston. So the first thing I did was I ran a line in, in the direction that it was facing because I wanted to see if it was going to Boston or not. And it just misses it. It ends up in Cambridge. Um, one of the things that I thought was pretty interesting, though, is it actually went through Revere. So maybe there was a tiny clue there um, towards something that we had in the in the Boston verse. But I didn't feel like that was the complete story there. So I, I kind of started researching Abbott Hall and, and looking at it a little bit more specifically, and I found that the interesting connection actually lies in what's at Abbott Hall, which is a painting called The Spirit of 76. And that is this painting here. This painting was exhibited at the Centennial in 1876. Previously, it was known as Yankee Doodle. And so what's really interesting about these two things, number one, we have a fairy called The Spirit of 76 in the book. And two, Yankee Doodle is mentioned in the field guide as well. So when I went to the field guide to start researching the spirit of 76, remember we had gotten here via the one verse from Canada, right? Verse 5 led us to this. And so when I was doing research on things, I was looking up what, what is anger and hope referring to because it's capitalized. And what I found was anger and hope refers to Canadian history. And the years of hope and anger in Canadian history was a time period from 1964 to 1976. And there's some interesting things that tie into what, what, what brought us here, which was the spirit of 76, right? You have the Quiet Revolution, and you have Expo 67, which a lot of people think you know, has a, a tie into the Montreal verse. So there's this tie into Canada in the spirit of 76, Fairy. Okay. So now going back to our painting here, it was also called Yankee Doodle, right? Well, Yankee Doodle is also in the field guide. It's it's found in the boogeyman. And it says, Hey Yankee Doodle up on your pony, that feather in your hat's a phony. Because the coolest feather, or ain't you heard, shines on the wing of the jungle bird. Right there, the word bird jumped out at me because in the Boston image, we have the bird with the bubble, which we know represented the Boston Pops. I talked about that in my last video, how Boston Pops, they play at Symphony Hall, and using some connections, you can find both the starting point at the Old North Church and the end point at the dig spot at the baseball field just from the Symphony Hall location of the Boston Pops. Okay, So now, what do we do with all this information? Okay, We have all this stuff. We have a verse linking us to a place in Massachusetts where there's a painting that ties into the field guide. This ties us into Canada. And 
the boogeyman ties us back to that painting to Boston as well. Okay. So what's interesting about the Boston Pops is that, yes, they do play at Symphony Hall, but once a year they have a concert at the Hatch Shell. And the date of that concert is the 4th of July, the day we celebrate our independence. Okay, that right there is the tie-in. Okay, what I didn't understand is, what does that mean? What am I supposed to do with it? Well, I had to go back to Abbott Hall. I had originally ran the line in the direction it was facing because I thought it went towards Boston. But remember, there was a connection through the painting at this location, which tied us to Canada. So when I ran the line going the other direction, that line went out over the water, missed the rest of the United States, and then intersected it again in Canada. So I thought, hmm, that's pretty interesting. That heading right there, 51 degrees, could be important. So let's use it. Let's use it at the location that we're led to via the painting that's at Abbott Hall, which ties us to the Boston Pops through the Boogeyman, okay, which leads us to the Hatch Memorial Shell located in Boston. Now remember, we're using a heading of 51 degrees because that's the direction the building is facing. Well, when we plot 51 degrees, from the hatch shell, it goes right to the baseball field in Boston. So I'm telling you right now, there is a spider web of connections in this puzzle where one verse leads to another location, leads to something in the field guide, which then gives you a heading that will take you to the dig spot. And if you can connect the dots, and you can find these connections that they hid in the book, pretty soon everyone's going to start to realize that this is a puzzle book. It's not 12 individual paintings with 12 individual verses, and that's it. The entire book is put together as a puzzle book. And if you start looking at it like that, I guarantee one thing is going to happen, guys. There's going to be more casts that get found. Let me know what you think in the comments.